Now, two years ago, the 10th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks, a memorial was dedicated at the Akushnet Fire Station. But there is something very unique about this memorial. New at 11 tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia has more from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. It's believed this memorial site here in Akushnet is the only memorial site in the region that has relics from all three sites of the September 11th attacks. And I would ask if there are residents gathered Wednesday night around the Akushnet 9 11 memorial to remember those who died on the 12th anniversary of the terrorist attacks. This memorial and this site is dedicated to all those who were killed, all those who survived, and all of us who are still processing the events of September 11th. As the American flag in front of Station 1 was raised from half staff, the Pledge of Allegiance and prayers for peace were said out loud. We ask you in your goodness to give eternal light and peace. Chief Gallagher says the Akushnet Memorial is unique because it allows visitors to actually touch a piece of history from all three sites of the attacks. This is a 2,700 pound steel I beam uh, that comes from the ruins of the World Trade Center. Uh, the Port Authority of New York provided it to us and they informed us that they do not know which tower it came from. It was sort of in that zone where both towers uh, left a great deal of debris. It comes from the field in which Flight 93 crashed in Shank uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Then this is a piece of the, uh, of the Pentagon. This piece was buried partially by another piece of concrete uh, and the staining that you see here is from the fires um, fueled by the jet fuel. The site also allows children born after after the attacks to learn about the events that unfolded that day. I think it's really cool. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like big feeling everything and how everything looks. The designer of this site tells me that this steel I-beam is pointing southwest towards New York City where the Twin Towers once stood. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.